Hello and welcome, I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Senator Manny Pacquiao defends President Rodrigo Duterte's war on illegal drugs despite charges of extrajudicial killings. He says the drug lords, not the police, are responsible for the killings. Neophyte senators afraid the drug problem may get worse. Pacquiao says, I'm worried because I have children. I'm worried that the problem of drugs, crimes, won't be solved. Albuera Town Mayor Rolando Espinosa Sr. surrenders to Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa. Espinosa and his son Kerwin are allegedly involved in drug trafficking and protecting drug lords. On Monday, President Rodrigo Duterte demanded the Espinosa surrender within 24 hours. Espinosa admits his son is involved in illegal drugs. Kerwin is still at large. President Duterte earlier ordered police to shoot on sight if Espinosa resists arrest. The Supreme Court orders the Commission on Elections to safeguard all poll materials relevant to the election protest of Vice Presidential Candidate Bongbong Marcos. The Supreme Court, sitting as the Presidential Electoral Tribunal, also summons Vice President Lenny Robredo to answer the election protest within 10 days. Marcos filed an election protest against Robredo on June 29th, citing alleged massive electoral fraud, anomalies, and irregularities during the 2016 polls. He's contesting the results of the elections in more than 39,000 clustered precincts in 25 provinces and five cities. Beijing announces penalties for illegal fishing in its waters, including areas it claims in the South China Sea. The Chinese Supreme Court's decision appears to be an attempt to strengthen Chinese rules governing the South China Sea. An international tribunal ruled weeks ago Beijing's claims have no legal basis. The question of who has the rights to fish in the disputed South China Sea is a major point of contention between Beijing and Manila. Not only is Senator Manny Pacquiao trying to get back in the ring, he may also play on the PBA hard court again. Pacquiao's PBA team Mahindra Enforcers activates the boxing champ from the reserve list after starting guard L.A. Revilla injured his nose during practice. Pacquiao was the first playing coach of Mahindra, where he played for only six games. He last played a PBA game in November 2015. Pacquiao is eyeing a boxing comeback in November after retiring from the sport earlier this year. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our daily updates, 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.